So the LA Haunted Hayride is something that's been around since 2009. With the company behind it, 1031 Productions, they founded the company in 2009 by Melissa Carbone and Allison Richards. The same year, they launched the LA Haunted Hayride in uh, Calabas, California, and the company nearly generated $400,000 uh, in revenue during its first year of business. Uh, the company was no most notoriously uh, seen on sh an episode of Shark Tank on their season 5 where they were of course the highest invested company on the show's history with um, 2 million dollars uh, invested by Mark Cuban for a 20% stake. The company since then has gone on to do live attractions like LA Haunted Hayride, New York Haunted Hayride, The Great Horror Campout and other attractions like The Ghost Ship which is a maiden voyage in Orange County and The Great Movie Horror Night, a series of horror movie screenings uh, screening parties in Los Angeles. Today's video, we're going to be talking about the history of the Haunted Hayride due to the fact that we are going to the Haunted Hayride this weekend to check it out for the very first time, and we are beyond excited. So here we go. Here, this is the history of the Los Angeles Haunted Hayride. Welcome to the Madhouse. <laughs> sometimes the los angeles haunted hayride is held in griffith park zoo in los angeles california visitors are taking on a, a traditional tractor drawn hay filled wagons through a fantasy world of ghost demons and monsters the attraction offers five different scare zones along with dining retail and other activities the site includes a 10,000 square feet clown maze where even the attendees wear clown masks 1031 begins planning each year's uh, hayride in january writing scripts and designing scenes and props for each scene Everything is first built in a warehouse. Ten days before opening, pieces are brought out to a 30-acre site in trucks and reconstructed there. The event employs uh, hundreds of actors and uh, attracts an average of 15,000 guests each weekend. In 2016, when the event carried the theme Secret Society, attendees could leave their wagons for the first time in the event's history to have a Secret Society initiation experience on foot. The trick-or-treat portion of the attraction tripled in size with the life-size suburban houses. Also, Universal Pictures took over the space in the newly named Ouija Origin of Evil in the first such partnership for Haunted Hayride. Now, since then, the Haunted Hayride has been uh, bought out and under new management by uh, Plague Productions and I think, what is it, 13th floor? And they uh, are really stepping up their game this year with the newly announced... Um, Midnight Falls kind of theming of the event, which is going to take you to the 80s and uh, experience a lot of different things. Where in this fictional town of Midnight Falls, the 80s have never stopped and Halloween never goes away. So we are very excited to be experiencing the Haunted Hayride this year, uh, especially with this theming around the 80s. Um, John Cook, the boy, taking a step up again and, of course, coming to clutch with all these haunts. So... Let us know what you guys think of the Holland Hater. If you guys been before, uh, that's awesome. Leave it in the comments. Tell us how it is. And if you guys are going for the first time this year, uh, let us know how excited you are. And we will see you guys at LA Haunted Hayride on September 28th.